and the response I get is that I don't know. I'm not. I'm not into teaching. I just do the admin side. So, so it's also their self-awareness, their self-image that you are a purely administrative being, while in fact you need to be an instructional leader, someone who coaches, someone who works with them. Now, with private schools, we see another issue. It's a challenge. Most private schools have Western or non-Arab um, leadership. The issue with that is that they come with very little knowledge, if, if, any, if any at all, about Arabic language, about the glossia, about what form of Arabic you should be using in the classroom, what are best practices in teaching Arabic. So what happens when they walk into the classroom, although I would say, if you walk into a classroom, whatever language that, that is, you can tell good teaching and learning if it's happening, engagement, you can tell. But it has become a difficult issue. It has become, like, it, it almost created a two-tier system in schools where the Arabic language program is taken care of completely by the Arabic um, coordinator or the head of Arabic in school, completely in silos while everybody else is on par with international practice and what have you. And when professional development happens, most of the Arabic teachers are trained by English speakers.